Okay, so now we'll be discussing about um, electrical, no? Electrical transients, no? Okay, so we have here a a definition of a transient period, no? So when a circuit is to be switched on, it will not directly attain, attain steady state response, but instead passes through a transition period, wherein the currents or voltages adjust themselves to their steady state state response no? so this trans transition period is what we called as the uh, the uh, transition period no? okay so we have here the graph no for example if you have this is a time zero no so time zero we are going to switch on here so as you can see our response no our response is um getting bigger no so it is increasing no then at this point, it will start to plateau or it will uh, start to become flat. So, this part here, you know, this one, is what we call as the transient response. And, uh, and the response, or the part of the graph that is um, going steady, is what we call as the uh, steady state response. No? Okay, so the, the time from zero until the our um, our response is starting to plateau, so that that, they, that is the whole transient response to cover by the transient response. So that's that's what we called as the transient period. No? Okay. So we will now try to analyze you know, the transient response, the transient period uh, of RL series DC circuit. So when we, when we see RL, so that will ours our circuit no, will be uh, will consist of a resistor and an inductor no? so here we have our graph no so this is our our resistor no r and our inductor l so they are connected in series so we have here our switch so we can say that it's a time zero the switch is off then we have here our dc voltage no so it is a cell no? or a a uh, DC voltage no? so denoted by E no so to get the current I so we have here I is equals to E over R plus key E raised to the power of negative R over L times T no or if uh, we are going to um, to have the initial value for example the initial value of our current no uh, the initial value of the current at t is equal to zero so we could have this one here no because our our k will just be equal to negative e over r no so that's why we could have this formula no? maybe we just write this one here at t is equal to zero so we have e over r is equal to one minus e to the negative r l r over l t no so we just factor out the E over R, no. So this this is the factor out. So we will have here the simplified form. So this will be at T is equal to zero. So our I stands for the instantaneous current in amperes. Our E is the supply voltage, no. So the unit to that will be voltage. The resistance of the resistor, which is the R. Our L is the inductance, no. Inductance of the coil, no. And the T is the time, which is in seconds, no. Okay. So the time constant PC, so time when the exponent of E, no, here, here, so the exponent our R of L, L, so the exponent of E in the formula for the current is unity or equal to one, no. So when our, when our um, E here, the exponent of our E is equal to one, no. So the exponent is equal to one. So our uh, the time constant, no. So the uh, the exponent of e will be equal to one. So we have here the formula, no. So the formula will be equal to the time constant is just equal to the l over r, no. So how do how we are going to get that? Because if our l no? if our t is equal to l over r, no. So l over r, so we just cancel out. Then our exponent will be equal to one. No, so 
So R is the resistance, of course, ohms, and L is the inductance in Henry. Okay. Then our T is in seconds, no? T, which is the time, no? So instantaneous voltage drop, no? That this is for every passive element. So we have our resistor and our inductor. So for the voltage drop on the resistor, no? So this one here. Okay, we only, only use the laser. Huh? So the voltage drop here, that is ER. So that is equal to R times I or equal to E times 1 minus E negative R over L times T. No? Of course, our voltage drop is dependent to the time. No? So that's why it is called transient response. No? Our E over L, that is the voltage drop of the um, inductor, no? E sub L. So this equals to L di dt. So we have here a, a, a differential equation in which our I is in terms of T, no? Or we could have equal that one as E is equals to E raised to the power of negative RT, no? So RLT, we are going to get the, uh, solve the differential equation as well because our DI DT, no? Our I is equal to this one, no? The, this formula, no? Then if you are going to get the, the differential, uh, the the derivative, no, of this one, the derivative of this one. So we we'll, we will end up with this expression here, no. Okay, then uh, where E sub R, of course, voltage drop across the resistor, and our E sub L is the voltage drop across the inductor. Then we have the instantaneous power, which is in watts, not the unit for that one. So our PR is just equal to the voltage drop on the resistor. R times our I. You know? We could have this the formula A squared over R 1 minus E negative RLT squared. No? We, we just substitute our I here with this one. No? No? Okay. Or our PL, you know, that is the voltage, the uh, power no? consumed on the inductor. So that is EL times I. So E A squared over R is equal uh, multiplied by E to the negative RLT minus E to the negative 2 RLT. Of course, we just uh, substitute this one, no? this EL and I with this formula and the formula for I. No? And if you are going to get the total power, uh, we have PR plus PL or this formula here, no? e, sub, uh, e squared over R is equal to 1 uh, times 1 minus E negative RLT squared. No? Okay. Or that is equal to our PR. No? So our PR will just be the power dissipated by our inductor. Uh, the PR is the power dissipated by our resistor. No, uh, I guess this one has no. Uh, here, you know, uh, it has no two. No, so we should erase that one. No? So because I noticed that. Um, the formula for PR and PT are the same. So oh, checking on the book, so this we, we uh, this one has no uh, squared, no? only the PR, no? and the PT is the total power dis dissipated in the circuit. No? So we have here our example. No? Okay, where is that to happen? Okay. So in an RL circuit, no? Kirchhoff's law gives the relation E is equal to L D I D T at R. Uh, uh, LDI over DT plus RI where our E is equal to the supply voltage of 200 volts. Okay. Then our R is the resistance at 20 ohms. Our L is the inductance at 1 Henry. The T is the time no, in seconds. And I is the current in amperes. So if I is equal to 0, when T is equal to 0, so we need to find I when T is equal to 0, uh, 0 0.002. Okay? okay? So we have here our solution. No? Okay. So our formula for that one, okay? Our formula. So remember that when uh, T is equal to 0, this is our initial condition. So our I also is equal to 0. So we could use the formula, no, because the general formula for this one is is 
e over r times uh, this this will be here let's just look, go back to that so this one no? okay it's that one so this no this this will be our general formula no okay where's that so this will be plus k e to the negative r over l times l that times t no but at t is equal to zero no at t is equal to zero we could say that our i is our k no? our k is equal to negative e over r so we could have our formula as e over r 1 minus e to the negative r l times t no okay of course in that in that note we could say that our um our i also will be equal to zero no so now at t no is equal to what is the given uh, t is 0 0.02 second no 0 0.02 second okay so our e is equal to 200 volts our r okay going back to the problem 20 ohms no? 20 ohms and our l is equal to 1 henry no? so we just substitute this one to the formula to get our I, no? So, we could now have our I. Okay. So, our I is equal to E over R. So, we have 200 volts over 20 ohms times 1 minus E to the negative. So, our R is 20 ohms over 1 Henry. Then, our uh, time in seconds is 0 0.02. Okay, seconds. We need to put here the seconds. No? Okay. Okay, seconds. Okay. So using our calculator, huh? Okay, where is the calculator? Here. No? So we have uh, 200 divided by 20. So we have 1 minus. A shift is about e no uh, raised to the power of negative 20 over 1 times 0 0.02 okay so another parenthesis here equal to 3.29 no so let's check on the book this is equal to 3.29 okay so 3.297 so i is equal to 3.297 amperes. Now, if we are going to have the choices here, so that we will select letter A, 3.3. No? So round to the uh, first, no, first, first decimal place, no. Okay, next we have another example, no. Okay, so we have a 6.0 oh, Henry coil whose resistance is 12 ohms is connected in series with a 24 ohm resistor and to a 144 volt battery and a switch the switch is closed at t is equal to zero so we need to get the time constant of the circuit no so we need to get the time constant of the circuit Okay, so we have here our R, no? So our R, okay, so we just put our resolution, no? So our R is equal to 12 ohms, so this is for the coil. Then our, um, our L is equal to 6 Henry, no? And we have a series resistance, so we put that one as RS is equal to 24 ohms no so if we are going to get no, the time constant for the whole circuit so we need to add uh, add up our um, our resistances no? so we have the time constant is equal to our l all over the uh, our r plus our rs no so we will have that one as 6 henry 
over 12 plus 24. Okay, so there it will be ohms. So there will be 6 over 36. No, so we will have that one. Have ever calculated? No, 6 divided 36. No, okay, so that will be equal to 0 0.17. No, okay, 0. Point uh, 0 0.017 no? Se or 0 0.17 okay, that will be our time constant for the whole circuit no? but as you can see there is no 0 0.17 in the choices no? so maybe the circuit that is uh, that is considered by the problem is the circuit only under the coil no? so we could have that one no? if we are going to solve that one so we we'll just use our R is equal to 24 uh, no, 12 no, and our L is equal to 6 Henry. No, 12 ohms and 6 Henry. So our time constant is equal to L over R, which is equal to 6 over 12. No, okay. Then that will be equal to 0 0.5 seconds. No, so we could have our answer as 0 0.5 seconds, assuming that the problem pertains to the time constant of the coil itself. No, not on uh, the coil circuit, not on the whole circuit. No, because uh, it is not uh, stated that the constant of the circuit, no, we don't know if, the, if that is the whole circuit or the circuit only consisting of the coil. No? So, if the circuit, if the whole circuit, that will be 0 0.17, that is the time constant. If for the circuit only of the coil, no, circuit of the coil, so that will be 0 0.5 seconds. Okay? Next. The current in a coil decays as follows. So when T is equal to 0 seconds, the current is 10 milliamperes. When T is equal to 0 0.006 seconds, the current drops to 4 milliamperes. The time constant of the coil is black. Okay? So we have here our uh, conditions. No? So, so we will put here our solution. Pattern to my pen. Okay, solution. Okay. So, at T is equal to 0 0.002 seconds, our I no, is equal to 10 milliamperes. Okay. So, if I'm going to go back with our formula, no? so for I, no? so we know that our um, I is equal to E over R, that will be uh, plus, okay, so this will be plus, plus K, um, E to the negative R L over uh, times T. And our T const uh, time constant is equals to um, L over R. So we could say that uh, R over L is just the reciprocal of, y of our time constant. So we could substitute that one in our on our um, uh, equation here. And we know also that uh, at t is equal to 0, we have our initial current. So we could say that our uh, current no, is equal to, we could just have this one here as in terms of current. So that will be our initial current. So I of 0 at t is equal to 0. Then we will have that one e to the negative 1 over tc times T, no? So we just substitute everything. Okay. So at T is equal to 0, 0 0.2 seconds, our I is equal to 10 milliamperes. So we could substitute that one. So 10 milliamperes is equal to IO E negative 1 over TC times 0 0.02. No? 0 0.02 uh, seconds. No? So that will be our. So that will be um, our first substitution no, for the first initial condition. So if we are going to solve for I O. So I O is equal to uh, ten milliamperes. No, that is ten milliamperes. Ten milli. No, just drop the unit. Uh, over e to the negative one over T C times zero point. 0, 0, 0.02 no? 0, 0, 0, so this will be our equation 1 no then at t is equal to where is that 
t is equal to 0 0.006, no? 0 0.006 seconds, our i is equal to 4 milliamperes. We just do the same. So, i is equal to io e to the negative 1 over tct. No? So, that will be 4 milliamperes is equal to io e to the negative 1 over tc times 0 0.006. Solving for io, we have... Um, 4 milli over e to the negative 1 over um, tc 1 over tc times 0, 0. Uh, 0. 0.006 no so we have that one now no then next we will equate no so this will be our equation uh, 2 no equating 1 and 2 so we have our equation 1 is this one no so uh, we just have our 10 milliamperes as a decimal so that will be uh, 0 0.01 over e to the negative 1 over tc times 0 0.002 is equal to for our 4 milliamperes so just convert that one to decimal so 0 0.04 e to the negative 1 over tc 0 0.06 no then we are going to uh, what we're going to do here is to um, divide both sides by 1 over 0 0.01 so we'll end up with 1 over e to the negative 1 over tc 0 0.02 uh, equal to so that is zero zero point uh, point zero zero four divide point zero one so that will be equal to point four no? so we have zero point four over e to the negative one over t c times zero point zero six no okay okay then we just raise this one no because we could raise this one to the numerator because they are negative so they will be just become positive so e to the one oh, uh, we just multiply also our 0 0.02 to, to 1 no? okay so let's just erase that one first okay so we have this one as as uh, 0 0.002 over tc is equal to e um i know you still have the four here no 0 0.4 let's erase this one so we still have the 0 0.4 no? 0 0.4 e to the uh, 0 0.006 no over tc okay then we just um uh get the natural logarithm of both sides no so we will end up with 0 0.002 t over c no because it just be equal to 1 then this will be equal to so we have ln 0 0.4 then this will be equal to so that is times no so we have 0 0.4 times so plus so that will be plus no okay so this will be uh, this will be plus um so ln e no ln e raised to the power of 0 uh, 0 0.006 over tc so you have 0 0.002 over tc is equal to ln 0 0.4 plus uh, 0 0.006 over t times uh, c no okay okay then next we will uh, 
have this one, no? we just transfer this one to the other side of the equation. So, we will have 0 0.006 TC is equal to 0 0.002 TC minus LN 0 0.4. No? Then, combining like terms. No? Of course, we need to combine, to combine like terms. No? So, we have... Okay, I have still the uh, space, no? Where is that one? So, that is 0 0.006, no? Uh, 0 0.006 over TC minus 0 0.002 over TC is equal to negative LN 0, uh, 0 0.4. Okay, so we will have this one that is 0 0.006, no? So, this will be equal to... Uh, 0 0.004 TC is equal to negative LN 0 0.4. Now, solving for our TC, no? so TC will just be equal to 0 0.004 over negative LN 0 0.4. No? Just forgot the parenthesis here. Okay, so using our calculator, one. Okay, so we have 0 0.004 over negative ln 0.4. Okay. And this will be equal to uh, 4.37 no? times 10 to the power of negative 3. No? So our time constant, so our time constant is equal to 4.37 times 10 to the power of negative 3 seconds. Or we could have this one as 4.37 milli. So this is milli seconds. No? This will be our answer. Okay. Next. So the same problem. But for this one, we need to get the power. No? The power uh, when t is equal to 0 0.02. No? So if we're going back to our formula, what's that one? Okay. So, this, this will be our formula. E squared over R, 1 minus E, negative R over L times T. No? Okay. So, where is that 1? Okay. So, we'll use the formula. Uh, PT no? is equal to E squared over R, 1 minus E negative R L T. No? So, just check if you have written the correct formula. Okay. Okay, so our E is equal to 200 volts, so that will be 200 squared over our R, so which is equal to 20 ohms, no? 20, so we have 1 minus E to the negative R, so E to the negative R, so R is 20, negative 20 over L, where L is equal to 1 Henry, times our t which is 0 0.02 okay so we'll now get we'll now get our total power no so using the calculator okay so we have 200 squared over 20 and we have 1 minus um where is that one e raised to the power of negative 20 times 0 0.02 then you have over 1 okay then this will be equal to so 659.36 so our total power is 659.36 watts no? so this will be our answer Okay, next, so we will now go with RC circuit, no? So RC circuit, so we, uh, this will now be a series of a capacitor and a resistor. No? Same, we will have our supply voltage as E, which is DC, and our I here, no? Then we have our switch, no? Which is... Uh, t equals to 0 will be assumed as off, no? So, our I is equals to key E 
raised to the power of negative t over rc. No? So, we have a note here, k is an arbitrary constant whose value is found by substituting the initial conditions of the circuit. So, if we have to substitute, no? If we are given the, the initial conditions, then we could get our uh, key, no? So, for example, at t is equal to 0, so this, uh, we have also our i is equal to 0 because it is turned off. So, we can now solve for our key. And, uh, for this in instance, our key will just be equal to, so this is 0, no? Then this is 0, so our key will just be equal also to 0, okay? Okay. Um, so, instantaneous current in ampere, so capacitor has no initial charge. So, we have this one. So, this will be our instantaneous current. So, I is equals to E over R, E plus the power of negative T over RC. If our capacitor has an initial charge of Q sub 0, so our instantaneous current is equals to um, the quantity of the voltage, no? super voltage, plus and minus. So, depending on the polarity of our of our capacitor, so Q sub 0, which is, this is the initial charge over C, all over R. Tapos, uh, it is multiplied to E raised to the power of negative T over RC. No? So, the time constant for RC circuits, no? uh, DC RC circuits, so the time constant, so that is the time when the exponent of E is also equal to 1. And that is the time constant is equal to R over C, R, R times C, no? Then the instantaneous voltage, no? With our initial charge equal to zero. So our E sub R is equal to E times the integral, ah uh, no, times uh, E raised to the power of negative T over RC. And then the voltage drop at the capacitor, that will be one over C, the integral of I, T dt so the limits is the the time no from zero to two or from two or from two to three no or equal to e is equal to one minus e negative one t over rc assuming that the initial condition is equal to zero no okay instantaneous power so we have here so pr is equal to e squared over r so quantity e to the negative two t over rc then the power of the capacitor, so E squared is equal to R, E raised to the power of negative RC minus E to the negative 2 TRC. So uh, the same, no? the same with the uh, the inductor, but the L is expressed by C, and our R is on the top, no? or the numerator. Then PT, so we just add the two, these two, or we could have that one as E squared over R, uh, that will be um, E raised to the power of negative TRC. So let me check first no, the formula for power here. Okay. Power, power. Okay. So then we have the capacitor has no initial charge. So we could uh, solve for the initial charge. So that will just be equal to C times E. Then we have 1 minus E negative TRC. If it has an initial charge, so we could have that one as CE plus Q. Uh, Q sub 0 minus C E quantity E to the negative T R C. No? Okay, so we have here an example. An uncharged con condenser in series with a 120 volt voltmeter of 10,000 ohms resistance is suddenly connected to a 100 volt battery. One second later, the voltmeter reads 660 volts. No? Determine the capacitance of the condenser. Okay, so we have here our solution, no? Solution. Okay, so we change first my pointer into a pen, a solution. Okay. So our um our uh what is it one? No, our R is equal to ten thousand ohms, no? Ten thousand ohms. Then our voltage, no? So our voltage. So our voltage, so this will be no 100. So we have 100. So E is equals to 100 volts. 
So the 120 here is just the the reading of the voltmeter, no? Then our we have here the voltmeter read. So this will be the the reading of the of the resistance, no? So this will be our E sub R, no? So that will be 60 volts. So we need to find the uh, the capacitance, no? So we have the formula E sub R is equals to E. So this is the voltage drop on the resistor side. So this will be E to the negative 1 over RC times T. No? So our T here is equal to 1. No? So substituting, we have 60 is equal to 100 times E raised to the power of negative 1 over 10,000 C times 1. Or we could simplify that one. Uh, we will be dividing both sides by 100. So that will be 0 0.6 is equal to E raised to the power of negative 1 over 10,000 C. So we could just drop the 1. No? Okay. Now taking the natural logarithm on both sides, we have ln 0 0.6 is equal to ln E negative 1 over 10,000 C. So we will have ln 0 0.6 is equal to negative 1 over 10,000 C. No? So solving for C, so we could have this one as C is equal to negative 1 over no? 10,000 times ln 0 0.6. So we can now get our we could now get our um we could now get our so we could now get our um voltage drop no Okay, so we could now get our capacitance now that not the voltage drop but the capacitance okay is that one so using our calculator so we have negative 1 over 10,000 okay times uh, ln 0.6 no this will be equal to uh, 1.96, no? 1.96.8, no? 1.96.8 uh, times 10 to the power of negative 4 farad. Or we could have that one in micro or in milli. So we just use the ing function. Okay, so that is 190. 5, no, 195, so 195 pala, no, 195.8, no, so this is not 96, no, but 5, okay. 195, 1.95, 1.958 times negative, negative 4, or 1, 195.8 microfarad, no? so this will be our answer, okay, next, Okay, so we have here a series RC circuit, no? Um, consists of a 2 mega ohm and an uncharged capacitor of 5 microfarad. So the circuit is connected across a 100 volt DC source at T is equal to 0. So we need to get, no? We need to get the voltage across the resistor 5 seconds later, no? Okay, so all we need to do now is to get the voltage drop, no, on our resistor at T is equals to 5 seconds, no, solution, no. So at T is equals to 0, so our ER which must be equal to 0, no, because there is no current. But at T is equal to 5 seconds, so we need to have our E sub R, what is the value of that one. So we know that E sub R <coughs> is equal to E. Uh, the voltage times e to the power of negative 1 over rc times t so just substituting that one 
our e is equals to 100 times e to the negative of 1 over our r is 2, me, 2 mega, so we just have that one as 2m and our um, capacitor is 5 microfarad, no? so 5m times the time is 5 seconds, no? okay? So using our calculator, so we can now solve for our uh, voltage drop, no? On the resistor at 5 seconds. So we have 100 times uh, e to the power of negative 1 over 1 xp negative uh, 2. No, sorry, that this will be 2 to the power of uh, times to the power of 6. No, we could have that one in parentheses. No, times 5 raised to the power of negative 6. No, because that is micro. Then you have times 5 close over right? we have a close parenthesis here so that will be equal to 60.65 no so 60 okay 60.65 volts no so this will now this now will be our answer no so in analyzing the rc circuit so you need just to um, use the formula no okay next Next, we will have the RLC circuit. So, this will be our circuit. So, we have here a resistor, an inductor, and a capacitor. And this will be our voltage. So, we have the auxiliary equation. Of course, because this uh, this circuit, no, from the RRL to RC, RLC circuit, um, supplied by a DC voltage, they will form a differential equation. No? So, save time because this, uh, this is just a review. So, uh, we will not have um, uh, the, the luxury of time in getting this, the formula itself, no? So we just have the formula because, of course, that the, the derivation of the formula will not be also required no? when you are going to take the uh, board exam. No? So we have the m squared, so that our m will be the roots of our equation. So m squared plus r over lm plus 1 over lc is equal to 0. No? So, from this auxiliary equation, we could now get our M, which is our uh, roots. No? And that from the, and from the roots, no? so a theory of our uh, uh, homogeneous equation of uh, higher order differential equation, so we can now solve our I, no? our in instantaneous current. No? Okay? So, we have cases, no? we have different cases um, of uh depending on the uh, roots no or the answer of our auxiliary equations no so if our uh the roots of our auxiliary equations are real and distinct so meaning uh, they are real numbers and distinct so they are unique from each other so they are uh, not equal so that that case is over damp case no so our condition is this one so r over a squared minus 4 lc is less uh, is greater than zero so our equation will be this one so i is equals to c1 e to the power of m1 sub t plus c2 e to the m sub 2 t of course this is from also the uh, solving uh differential equation of higher order no one no? which we are going to get the auxiliary equation next if is critically damp no if the roots of the auxiliary equation contain real and Okay, uh, critically. Okay, when the roots of our auxiliary equations are repeated, no, so repeated. So this is the condition: R L squared minus four over L C is equal to zero. So meaning they are equal. So we'll have our equation, no, uh, the equation for our current as C one plus C two times T E to the power of M one A uh, M T. No, M is the root of our auxiliary equation. Then we have the underdamp case. So, when the roots of the auxiliary equation contain real and imaginary. No? So, this will be the condition. No? Okay. So, this will be uh, less than. No? Okay, let's just check first if that is really less than according to the book. No? So, maybe I committed a... How is that one? Overdamp. Where is it? One, overdamp, underdamp. Okay, so this will be 
less than no less than okay so just correct that one so the, if this is the condition so we will be solving for our alpha so our alpha is equals to negative r over 2l and our beta is equal to r square root of r l squared minus 4 lc over 2 then this is will this will be our uh, equation no? or our um, equation that describe our instantaneous current okay so the general equation of the rate of change of current at t is equal to zero and i is equal to zero so this will be em sine theta plus and minus q sub o over c over l no where our q sub o is the initial charge stored in the capacitor and our uh, q sub o is positive if that is discharging ne negative if that is charging okay so we have this example this one okay okay so we have a series RLC circuit with R is equal to 1 kilo ohm, L is equal to 1 Henry, and C is equal to 6.25 microfarad. is suddenly connected across a 24 volts DC source. At T is equal to 0, I is equal to 0, and Q, so the charge is equal to 0 also. Determine the current after 0 0.01 second. No? Okay, so now we will be solving this one. No? So we have here our solution. Okay, solution. So first we'll write the given. So our R is equal to 1 kilo ohms, our L is equal to 1 Henry, and our C is equal to 6.25 microfarad. No? So we know the formula. No? So first we must. Uh, first get the uh, auxiliary equation so this the, from the uh, formula here which is that one so we have here uh, okay so m squared plus r over l m plus 1 over l c equals to 0 okay so m squared no so we have m squared plus will be r over l let's just check first so r over l m then that will be 1 over LC. No? R over L M plus 1 over LC is equal to 0. So we have M squared plus our R is equal to 1 kilo. No? 1 kilo ohms over 1 Henry plus 1 over our inductor is um, 1. No? 1 Henry times that will be 6.25 no? 6.25 microfarad uh, is equal to 0 then what we are going to do now is we need to um, we need to uh, simplify this one so we have m squared plus 1000 over 1 that's what that would be 1000 so we have here our m no? 1000 m plus so 6.1 over 6.25 so we'll be using our calculator 1 so divide 6.25 uh, micro no? so that will be equal to 160,000 no? 160,000 is equals to 0 so getting the roots no? so we just use our calcul here so uh, that will be uh, mode 5 so quadratic so that, that will be 3 no so we have the equation for uh, our m squared is 1 then 1000 okay then 1600 no so this will be equal to so negative 200 and negative to 800 so our m1 is equal to negative 200 and our m2 is equal to negative 800 no so we could write now our equation as i is equals to c1 raised to the power of negative no negative and not negative but positive so why am i thinking negative so this will be m1 no it's the power of m1 times t plus c2 e to the power of m2 times t so i is equals to c1 e so our m1 is negative 200t plus c2 raised to the power of e negative 800t 
no? So, uh, substituting initial conditions no? from the given. So, that will be at t is equal to 0. No? At t is equal to 0. Okay. So, at t is equal to 0. Our i also is equal to 0. So, you have 0 is equal to c1 e to the negative 200 times 0 plus c2 e to the power of negative 800 times 0. So, we end up with 0 is equal to c1 uh, e to the power of 0 that will be 1 plus c2. No? So, it will be e raised to the power of 1. No? So, it will just be equal to c2. No? So, we could say that our c1 is equal to the negative of c2. No? Transpose uh, c2 to the other side of the equation. Okay. Now, if I'm going to get the first derivative of this one, so di dt, so this will now be equal to our q, no? the charge, no? the, cha the change in charge per unit time. So, that will be equal to negative 200 C1. Okay. Negative 200 times uh, C1. Uh, e to the power of a negative 200 T. So, just derivative, no? Then, we have this one as... Um, now, what is... That is... Ne that is negative no so negative 800 e to the power of negative 800 t no? so th this is not equal to charge but only uh, the idt no? so the derivative of our current no because charge is the derivative the first derivative or the current is the first derivative of charge no okay so at So, at uh, um, t is equal to 0, so our q, our charge is equal to 0 as per initial condition. So, we could say that our di dt, so because our uh, charge is equal to 0, so our di dt will just be automatically equal to the, uh, to the voltage over the inductor. No? So, we will have this one as 24, so it's the 24 volts, okay? 24 volts over 1. So, we have our di dt equal to 24, no? So, we just, we only need to substitute this one to this side of the equation, no? So, the, the value of our di dt is 24. So, we have negative 200 C1 e to the negative 200 T minus 800 E. So, why do I have still a C1 here, no? So, there's, there's no more C1 for this one, no? Okay. So, that will be e to the power of negative 800t. Okay. So, do we have a C1 and C2? Okay. So, do you have a C1 and C2? C1 and C2 here because this is just the derivative, no? So, I get confused, no? Because I also... Um, I also... Uh, I forgot to write the C2 here. So, I, I thought that there is no C2 no, on C1. So, let's just delete this one. No? Okay. So, this is C1 and this is C2 e to the negative 800t. Okay. So, we know that our... So, we know that our C1... Uh, our uh, C1, no? So, we'll be solving first for... A C2, no? We know that our C1 is equal to negative C2, no? From this one, so we just substitute this one here, so it will become 24 is equal to negative 200 C1. So this will just be positive, no? Because we just substitute the C2, so it will be C2 e to the negative 200 T, okay? Minus um, 800. C2 e to the negative 800t. So, we know that at t is equal to 0, no? t is equal to 0, our di dt is equal to 24. So, for this one, you could substitute here as this one will be 0 seconds. 
0 seconds, so this will just be equal to 1 over E. So, we'll have 24 is equal to 200C2 minus 800. So, minus 800C2. No? Do I have a uh, space? No? Okay, so maybe I'll just add some space here no? for the next uh, part of the solution. Okay, so this is that one. Okay, so we have to have one. Okay. Okay, so we have 24. So maybe I will have this one on yellow. Okay. Where's that one? So we have 24 is equal to negative, no? So this will be negative. Just check first, no? So 200 minus 800, so negative. 600 C2, no solving for C2, so C2 is equal to negative uh, 0 0.04. No? And we know that C1, because C1 is negative of C2, this will be equal to positive 0 0.0, uh, no, 0 0.04. Okay, so the final equation now for our I, so this will be uh, C1 e to the negative 200t plus c2e to the negative 800t so that will be i is equals to 0 0.04 e to the negative 200t because our c1 is equals to 0 0.04 uh, minus uh, 0 0.04 e to the negative 800t so now a t is equal to that is 0 0.01 seconds no? 0 0.01 seconds so our i is equal to 0 0.04 e to the negative 200 times 0 0.01 minus 0 0.04 e to the negative 800 times 0 0.01 no? so our i is equal to no, using our calculator okay so we have so go back to the normal mode no okay so we have 0 0.04 uh, shift e raised to the power of negative 200 times 0.01 okay okay times 0.01 will be minus a uh, 0 0.04 raised to the power of negative 800 times 0 0.01 okay so our i is equal to 5.4 no our i is equal to um, 5.4 milli henry so this is now our answer okay so that is how you are going to solve electrical transients. No, for this one we are we focus on uh, RL, RC, and RLC circuit, which is uh, supplied by a uh, DC power supply. Okay. So on the next topic, we will be discussing electrical transients on AC circuits. No. Okay. So I hope you understand something in this video, and as always, enjoy learning.